Right guys, Mike Crossfield here, talking today. I'm really excited about these videos and they're not gonna be for everyone. They're quite technical, they are, it's me at Ping HQ in Phoenix. And I got a fantastic opportunity to go on a system they use called the Enzo system, which is allowing them to really study shaft, its effects, how people deliver the head in relationship to different shafts and how they simply deliver the head. Um, with different techs on their club, if you like, uh, the different technologies that they're trying. To, uh, it's a piece of uh, software stroke hardware that they use for studying golfers and allowing them to build golf clubs uh, to the great quality that they build them at. So it's I'm kind of like a kid in a candy shop here, so I am going to talk a lot and I will be talking over people because I don't get much time in there and I want the answers that I want to get. Because <laughs> I ain't going to get back in there for a while because uh, I don't go over to Phoenix too often. So this chat, we're going to be talking about how the handle and the head relate to each other with some measured data. Uh, and it's really interesting to see how different players get an ideas of slowing the handle up and speeding the head up. So how different players might feel the head or the handle, uh, the head or the handle differently. Um, yeah, post comments down below, let me know what you think. I've got a few of these coming and this is the first one. I love it. It's Tech Talks with the guys, the engineers, the designers, the boffins, the brains at Ping Golf. Let's get stuck in. Cold, yeah, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no warm up. <laughs> hmm. So that's that flight is coming from GC2, isn't it? Yes. Yes. That's, so you're using the. So we actually end up. We take, when we do a test, we take all the launch monitor data, yeah. we take all the Enzo data that we're getting from motion capture, we merge those and upload it to a database. Okay. We could probably pull up a test report and kind of show you kind of how we take all that data and generate these test reports. And as engineers, that's where we're trying to extract the insights from, right? Yeah, yeah. So what kind of numbers are we getting? Uh, so in any, you know, from yeah. speed to yeah. face path paths, yeah. delivery. So here's strike. kind of some, so we can get into more detail. Here's some just kind of general numbers that we spit out in the, in the info window. So you get a max handle speed. Uh, <laughs> so I love that. So you're measuring how fast I'm, yes. yep. that's down <coughs> at impact hand. or so this it is, got to as fast as. So it got to as fast as 19 miles an hour. At impact, your handle speed is 15 miles an hour. So I was faster by my right leg. From yep. the yes. line. So you have to, to allow the club to come around. Because I'm starting your hands to come up. Hit the brakes. Goes, yeah. yeah. Right. Because yeah, if you never hit the brakes, the club's never going to whip around. Yeah, yeah. But right where you hit that max handle speed and your hands start to decelerate, that's where you see that rapid increase in club, club speed. speed. Right? So that's really interesting. You've obviously tested with handicap golfers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do they have that drop off or not? Uh, it tends to shrink a little bit. So it's not quite as drastic. So your bigger general, hitters, you get general. like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. If you get like a Bubba, does he have a bigger, so like, because he's obviously, obviously head, so bigger Cabrera, maximum. So Cabrera, bigger maximum, and then and a then bigger drop. Right back down. Yeah. yeah, so Cabrera goes from, I think, what, 23, 23, 23, 23 miles an hour down to 17 miles an hour. So that's six, I'm four. Yeah. Um, you know, I'll slow I, that I bloody handle down, Matt. Yeah. yeah. Now remember this. Tom says he's two. So sorry. That's, I'm, I'm two based on my handicap and swing speed. So what you drop drop. down to? What's your handicap? Uh, about fifteen. And what sh does, what about shot shape might affect that, would it? Faces open to path might make it harder to get Maybe, that I mean, head I mean, speeding more, up. A lot of it is yeah. I mean, depending on how much I cast versus you know, kind of releasing, holding, holding onto it a little later. I mean, that's kind of what we see with the higher handicap is that you're kind of pushing it out. So now it's. They don't have to hit the brakes as much here. Right. Yeah. It's to get the club to come around. Yeah, yeah. The club's already kind of around. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's um, interesting, isn't it? Have you have you got Bubba's numbers on there? We don't. No, He's only not lefty. Lefty, lefty. lefty. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Now, so yeah. So we think? will. Uh, so okay. we got yeah. we got Hunter. We got Onhill. We got we can pull up some tour players here in a little bit. Yeah. If, uh, yeah. That'd be interesting. Want to take a look? Um, we actually just had uh, Daniel Summerhays in. Um, a couple of weeks ago doing some iron stuff, trying to yeah. dial in an iron shaft for him. Okay. Um, 
and so but yeah we can pull some of that out so thanks for watching subscribe to my youtube channel for loads more videos find me on instagram at crossfield mark also on twitter at four golf online find me on facebook mark crossfield thanks for watching post comments as always and see you soon